This is part three of the shack um, and A1 collectors. And um, I would just like to kind of do a little bit of an expose, not just shack. We kind of did an overview. Here he is. Very uh, excited. He's got the uh, dunk thing going there on the hoop. And I thought what I would do is just kind of show them all off a little bit and some of them are like well that didn't go with that so I'll just explain what I've done with my collection and and uh, you can do what you want but I think it's good that if you uh, have collected your um, blood running through you this might be a good IV to attach to you to um, encourage you and uh, hopefully to enjoy it as I do I've been collecting toys for years as you can kind of see, I'll just give you a, a little display. As uh, there we go, this is 1992 Dream Team starting lineup. That's what got me into sports figures. Were starting lineups in the late uh, 80s, and I collected all kinds: baseball, basketball, football, even a few hockey. I had some soccer ones when I went over to uh, Europe and got Diego Maradona. Who I like as well, but uh, you know there is Larry Bird, Magic, Michael. I believe that is Chris Mullen, and that is uh, Carl Malone, David Robinson, Charles Barkley, John Stockton, Scotty, and uh, Patrick Ewing. So it's just a whole kick kabam. So, but anyways. Here we have, I have a collection here, I have a total of 12 figures, and uh, Shaq being my newest, I kind of go in order that I got them, and so here was my very first entry figure right here, Michael Jordan Upper Deck version came with that um, trophy, the MVP, and I uh, have them nicely uh, placed together. Um, I've had him for the longest and had never had a problem with him. He is probably my favorite figure just for nostalgic uh, reasons. My second figure is uh, Kobe Bryant. He was the second one I got. Um, had a few issues with him, but uh, kind of, you know, I fixed him up and got him together. What happened was that when I bought my next one, I reposed him and his arm popped off. And so I had to uh, go into action figure. Fixie 101, put him together, and so he's my second figure. My third figure that uh, I ever got was a LeBron James. Um, I got him at Big Bad Toys for 149. Um, had uh, uh, through an acquaintance had uh, his uh, Cavs jersey done for me. And uh, looks really nice. That's the yellow one that they wore in the finals. I kept ordering the yellow one before the finals started, and then it came on the week of the finals. So uh, I was hoping to bring LeBron good luck, but uh, I still liked Stephen Curry too. So I was either way. So that was my third figure. And so then I took a little bit of a respite and kind of got uh, a little bored. And so I thought, well, I should probably uh, get another one. So. My fourth figure, and fifth came at the same time, I got it in uh, Alan Iverson, the answer, and then I also got um, this Jordan, and this is actually the all-star one, but uh, I bought an extra home jersey online and put it on instead. Um, it is, um, so I still have the other jersey, but I just... I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of that jersey with that kind of face. Um, and uh, so I got him and uh, AI, the answer right at the same time. I uh, really like both of them. And um, so then I, I had to kind of get rid of Hot Toys and kind of trying to get out. I still have more to get rid of, but uh, I thought, well, and there was um, a good place called Toy Anxiety, and I traded, and I ended up getting. Um, extra Jordan uh, and parts and so the jersey I didn't get but I got the Jordan on the body and I have an, I got an extra Jordan head sculpt it's exactly the same one as this one and um, I think I got 
two head stuff. I got that one. It was just the pinstripe uh, jersey and stuff that I got online. And uh, I had uh, I did get an extra pair of shoes with the upper deck version. And then I bought a pair of shoes too online too, because so I have um, a couple extra there. But um, I have an open mouth head as well, so like the last shot. And so the next one. And then after that, I ended up getting Kevin Durant, who is one of my actual favorite players. I really like him. It's kind of cool. Um, I, mean, I don't like taking my dolls, but uh, undo them, but uh, he actually has a whole bunch of Bible verses underneath his uh, uh, jersey on tattoos and stuff like that, so uh, it's kind of cool. So I like reading the Bible and so, but uh, anyways, that was my next one. And then on Father's Day, I got this from the kiddos, and I got it this one. I got them for a while at different places. I have a one-stop. It's going to be for new stuff, toy anxiety, and for new stuff, the you know, Hobby Gallery and stuff like that, or Galaxy, Hobby Galaxy there, or Galaxy Hobby. I like getting mixed up. I got the dyslexia. But anyways, um, I got him for Father's Day, and... Uh, Clark Toys had a 30% discount on all their stuff, and he was already on sale. Uh, I ended up paying, uh, ended up paying like 150 bucks out the door extra shipping for him. So he's not the most exciting figure, but he is uh, another one. Um, so I got him. He was my next figure. Then the next figure I picked up was this guy right here. Uh, a trade. Um, I had to go across these to get that because, uh, as far as I know, um, Jeremy Lynn never uh, uh, came to the States from the stores. They always was promising, and uh, either I missed it one day because I checked every day for the longest time because my son likes him a lot. Um, but they know that there's two editions out there there's this one, and then, then they have a Lakers one. And then, as soon as they had the Lakers one, he uh, moved again. You know, he plays for Jordan's team, but, um, yeah, he's, um, he's a cool guy, um, with a good attitude and a uh, strong face, and, uh, but, uh, my son wanted that one pretty bad, so we got him. Then the next one I got is right to his, um, uh, his left, my right, uh, Scotty Pippen, and I have him in the away jersey, he comes with two jerseys, holding a trophy up there and with with, the, with those shoes and uh, the black shoe they haven't attempted to do yet because I'm just afraid I'll break. Then my last two just came today as a gift. Um, and, uh, and these, let me just clarify, these are just as much as my kids as mine. We do it together, but uh, got this shack and I got this shack. Right over here, as he gets so excited about dunking there, and, um, and let me just book, uh, back up before I got Shaq and after I got Pippin. So about last week, this was a gift too. Uh, we've been, people have been very gracious to us, and we got uh, a basketball hoop too. So. Uh, all in all, just a real neat collection. So I have a total of 12 in all. I'm only missing Derrick Rose and Dennis Rodman. And there's other Jordans, but, you know, I already have three. I don't need to have every last Jordan that they make. But um, um, I'm happy with these. The, out of the last two, if there's one I had to get, would probably be uh, Dennis Rodman if I had to. And we've also... Uh, Galaxy Hobby or Hobby Galaxy, I apologize, let me put your name up, Dan. But uh, I would recommend you going there, but we uh, have pre-ordered the, uh, it's a Christmas present, but we have pre-ordered um, the newest figure, which will be coming out, uh, due out at the end of the month, uh, I believe, and uh, just won the finals on Stephen Curry with Golden State, and... Um, we're going to see what happens, but um, hopefully he has a good year. I really like him, too. That's, my, one of my, that's basically like my son's, like, my son loves 
different players and different teams. But I think right now, if you had to pin him down, I bet you, I mean, he really, he loves Michael Jordan. You know, he loves Kobe. and But he really likes Stephen Curry. And he likes Andre Iguodala for his defense. And, uh, but um, he is really looking forward to the um, Stephen Curry to come out too. So, so we pre-ordered that, and hopefully we'll get that at the end of the month, and that'll be a nice Christmas gift. So, anyways, all in all, here's my collection. This is kind of the wrap-up for my shack. Um, just fun to do, and I just recommend to you all, for those of you who collect, uh, have fun doing it. Um, it'll be a joy, and uh, uh, I will be doing some more reviews. I'm going to be doing a review coming up, um, just talking about the... Uh, the sport of collecting and why we collect uh, sports figurines and hot toys and and is it an addiction and uh, I, I want to say yes so um, is it a worthwhile addiction I'm not sure but I do know that it's fun to have and uh, when I first saw all these figures um, especially when I first came out in my life about a year ago when I got Actually, it's been a year and a half when I got this Jordan. Um, it's kind of been a, a battle to get out of Hot Toys. And I still get some, but then get into Enter Bay. And just some customizing things, obviously. I have a little brawn. And if you look over here, uh, I got little Nike uh, decals for him. And so there's different things that you can do. I've got the warm-up suits for Michael. I got a home and away, so I can use it for Scotty things like that and so I got an extra Kobe head with the extra hair so different things you can do but um, it is an expensive hobby which I think anything is but um, it's a fun thing that I can do with my kids and I have fun doing it so anyways have a great day thanks for watching this review and I would say overall entry Bay basketball figures in the grand scope of things is I'd give my a four and a half out of five and uh, I really think that Shaq and the Jordan, they are kind of the two bookends. They've done all right. So thanks. Have a great day. God bless. I'm out.